so gall wing sign is seen in which of the following arthritis so it is called as gall wing sign or seagull sign so how does a seagull look like so a seagull or the gall wing has a shape like this and this appearance we get in erosive osteoarthritis why do we get that in erosive osteoarthritis is because now if this is the joint space if this is a normal joint space in erosive osteoarthritis as the term says there are erosions these erosions are central erosions rather than marginal erosions in rheumatoid arthritis so what do we mean by central erosions so on this bone surface you will have erosion in the center so the bone will get depressed here so rather than the smooth surface you will get erosion in the center plus you will get this marginal or peripheral proliferation so that gives the appearance of the seagull so this is the gull wing or the seagull appearance the bird which we used to make i'm sure all of us must have made this in our childhood when we used to draw bird so that is the seagull or the gull wing appearance if we have a look at the radiograph so here we have the central erosion and the peripheral or the marginal osteophytes or bone proliferation that gives the seagull or gull wing appearance so the central erosion should help you remember that it is erosion so it is seen in erosive osteoarthritis so the answer is erosive osteoarthritis remember other thing about osteoarthritis that it involves the first carpo metacarpal joint that is carpo metacarpal joint of the thumb and it involves the dips so first carpo metacarpal joint and the dips are involved in osteoarthritis and gull wing or seagull appearance is seen in erosive osteoarthritis